Hey everyone, welcome you to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to write a Python program to count the number of vowels in the given string. Okay, so first I'm going to get a string and I'm going to check whether uh, the each character is present in a list of vowels that I'm going to create. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is let me create a list of all the vowels we have. So let me execute to create this list. So here I have listed out all the vowels. Okay. So now I'm going to get a string. So let me get the user input. So I'm going to uh, use input function to do that. Let me pass a statement here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for loop to iterate over the given string. Okay, so I'll tell you how to do that. So first let me uh, create a counter, which I'm going to initialize it as zero. And now I'm going to use for loop for i in string one str1. So this i is going to iterate over the string that we have. And inside this for loop, I'm going to use if statement stating that if i is in v. So what does it mean? So here I'm giving a condition telling that if i i is the iterator which is going to take each character in each iteration from the string so if i is present in v v is nothing but the list of vowels that we have created right so if this iterator is in this list then what it has to do so let's write vowels is equal to so basically we want to count the vowels right plus one, which means that initially bubbles is taken as zero, right? It is assigned zero. So now I'm just having a counter here or I'm going to give an increment here, okay? So when I is present in this list, list of bubbles, then it is going to get a increment of one. So each time when this I is present in the bubbles list, then it, this vowels uh, variable is going to get an increment of one. So now let me have a print statement. Telling that number of vowels in the given string. So what will be having the number of vowels? This object is going to have because each time when the character is present in the list, it is going to get an increment, right? So here, each time when we get an vowel, it will be counted as one and which is going to be stored in this variable. So let me call this variable here. All right. So I'm going to execute this now. So it will get the it will uh, take the user input. So here I'm going to pass a string. Let's say hello. And let me execute this. So as you can see, we have two bubbles here. So we have uh, got the count. Okay. But let me say that, let me execute this again. And now I'm going to use uppercase. Okay. 
Uh, let's uh, give some other, let's say elephant. And let me execute it. So how many bubbles do we have? We have one, two, three, but here it gives us two. The reason is that whatever list we have created in this uh, bubbles, right? So we have only in lower case. So when it finds an upper case, even though it is a bubble, it is not being counted here, right? So I wanted to either convert all the characters which is entered by the user into a lower case, or I need to create a list with lower case and upper case. Okay. So let me use lower function, which basically converts all the characters into lower case. Okay. So what this will do, if I include this statement, whatever string the user is entering, right? Even if it has uppercase, that will be converted into lowercase because of this function, right? So which will be stored in this variable. And now let's say, again, I'm going to give elephant. Okay. Even though if I have given in uppercase, so this string will be taken and will be converted into lowercase and then will be stored in this variable. Okay, Let me execute this. And now you can see that it has counted the uppercase as well because it is first converted into lowercase and then uh, it takes, uh, this variable takes the value, right? So this is how we can count the number of vowels using Python program. <clears throat> 